Hey, what's going on folks? Um, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm actually going to show you how to go ahead and use Jupyter Notebooks within a virtual environment. Now, I was actually approached by a few people on Reddit and on Facebook that were asking me, they were saying, hey, listen, I'm, I'm following some of your instructions in some of your previous videos, but for whatever reason, things aren't working out and I don't understand why. And one of the things they were doing is when they were opening up their Jupyter Notebook, they weren't actually opening it up in a virtual environment kernel. And so I'm going to show you how to go ahead and do that. So first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brand new virtual environment directory. I'm just going to create a brand new directory on my desktop. And then in that, what we're going to do is we're going to do two things. One is we're going to open up Jupyter Notebooks the way that people have been opening it up and realizing that things aren't working out exactly. And then we're going to open up Jupyter Notebooks using a virtual environment kernel, which I'll show you how to do. And then we're going to import a library. We'll import something like pandas. And I'll show you that the versioning is actually different between the two. So let's get started right here. So first things first, let's go ahead and I'm just going to put this on my desktop. So let me CD into my desktop. All right, so let's go ahead and make a folder. So we're going to say make dir and we're just going to call this virtual test. So let's just call it that. We'll go CD into virtual test just so that everything's contained in one place and my desktop isn't gonna be exploding. So I LS into there's just nothing into it and that's what I want. So the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and type is I'm gonna go ahead and type in virtual ENV, VENV, and I wanna specify that this has gotta be Python 3. So it's gonna go ahead and create everything for this. Um, once we do that, we're gonna go ahead and activate our virtual environment. So I'm gonna type in source, VENV, bin, activate all right so now it shows that i'm in my venv because obviously uh, it says venv in front of it so that means i'm in my virtual environment now here's the mistake people make they go ahead right away and they type in jupyter notebook thinking that by doing so they're actually going to go ahead and open an instance of jupyter notebook in their virtual environment which is actually not true so they're what they will do they'll hit you know new python 3 and then if i were to go ahead and just take a look at uh, the Python version, or sorry, the version for pandas. So if I were to go ahead and do this and I type in import pandas as pd, pd underscore version, this is going to tell me the version of pandas. Now it says 0 0.25.2. Well, the interesting thing here is in my virtual environment, I've actually installed nothing. So if I go back to my virtual environment, so I'm just going to start a new desktop page here. Uh, we're going to go back into our, so I'm going to CD back into that folder. So we'll just go to virtual test. That's where it was. And so I've got VENV. So I'm going to go again into source, VENV, bin, activate again. And so if I do a pip freeze here, well, I actually have nothing installed. So I don't know where this is actually getting 2.0.25.2. Now that's the version, which is the latest version I have installed on my actual computer but not in this virtual environment. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna install pandas, but we're gonna install an older version. So I'm gonna say pip install pandas, and we'll say equals equals 0 0.24.2, because I know this version exists. Now it's gonna go ahead and install all this for us, which is gonna be good. Then we're gonna run that command again. And technically speaking, so now let's just rule out the fact that I didn't have it installed in my virtual environment. And now when I do, I'm gonna go ahead and go up here and I'm going to restart this kernel. And technically speaking, if I am in my virtual environment, this should say 2.4.2. Well, it doesn't update. Well, what that tells me is that I'm actually not in a virtual environment. And so that's why when a lot of people are copying over all this code and they're trying to run it, they're copying over the code and they're copying over all the versions in a virtual environment, but they're actually not running their pandas instance in a virtual environment. So let me go ahead and show you how you would go ahead and run this in a virtual environment. And just as a quick segue, be sure to also check out our partners, NordVPN. I've been using their service for VPN services for well over almost five years now, and I have not been disappointed. Check out, they also have a 70% offer. Link is going to be in the description. Check it out. They've been fantastic, great customer service, and overall great service as well to keep you safe online as you surf. Now, the next thing you need to do is you actually need to go ahead, you know, as I go back into my terminal file, as I'm sitting in my virtual environment here, there's a few other things I'm going to do. So let me make this a little bit bigger for us to see. I actually need to go ahead and install an instance of IPython. And in order for me to do that, I need to go ahead and 
and install IPython inside my virtual environment. So my virtual environment is called VENV, like we decided. So I'm going to type in IPython kernel install user name equals VENV. All right, so then it says installed kernel spec VENV in all of this. So basically, now in my virtual environment, I should have a kernel, which I've called VENV. So let's go ahead and fire up Jupyter Notebook again. All right, now as I fire up Jupyter Notebook, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to new, but this time I'm going to go to VENV because that is the virtual environment that I've got called. So instead of going to Python 3, which is just going to default to my system version of all the different packages that I got, I'm going to go to VENV. Then I'm going to bring in the exact same code as before. I'm going to bring in import pandas as PD and then type the version number. So now in this one, you see that it's 0.24.2. And so if I go ahead and bring up my virtual environment, so I'm going to actually close out of this because I've showed you that that's the version number. But just again to remind you, if I were to go ahead and bring up my regular environment and type in Jupyter Notebook, and I go, went ahead and I just picked Python 3, and I use that command again just to remind you, this is going to show 0.25.2, or this shows 0.24.2. This tells me that I'm in my virtual environment, which is also represented right up here as well. So guys, hopefully you find this tutorial helpful. Again, very quickly to show you to make sure that when you are downloading code from GitHub or when you're downloading it from different source, sources or sites, and when you create your virtual environment, you want to make sure that if you are going into Jupyter, Sublime, you know, regardless of whatever tool you're using, you want to make sure that you're in your virtual environment, you're using the packages that are installed in your virtual environment, and your IDE is actually connected to your virtual environment. So hopefully you found this tutorial informative, and if you did, please consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.